Examining Linear Relationships, Lesson 4.1b. We've learned that a proportional relationship is a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of one quantity to the other quantity is constant. We learned that back in 3.1a through c, and I've got those linked in the description if you've missed them. The graph of a proportional relationship is a line through the origin 0, 0. Relationships can have a constant rate of change, but not be proportional. Now, I've explained this in the last couple videos, but I'm going to explain it again because I really want you to understand this and have it memorized. This is the slope-intercept form of an equation. Y is the dependent variable. It's the output. That's why it's by itself on this side of the equal sign. M is the slope of the graphed line. X is the independent variable, the input, and B is where the line intercepts the y-axis. It's the y-intercept. The graph of a linear relationship may be a solid line or a set of unconnected points. Since a solid line represents all points along that line, it includes fractional numbers. If the linear relationship only includes whole numbers, the graph will be a set of unconnected points, no line. The rate of change can be constant, but the relationship will only be proportional if the graphed line passes through the origin at 0, 0. We can have a linear relationship, but it may not be a proportional relationship. In the last video, I used a similar problem to this. Emma bought a tomato plant that was 2 centimeters tall. Each day it grew 2 centimeters. We can represent this as y is equal to 2x plus 2 to show its growth over x days. We make a table of values and use the equation to find the value of y. If x is a 1, then we've got 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2. Our y value is 4. And if it's 1 and 1 tenth days, well, then its growth is 4.2 in height, 4.2 centimeters. If the numbers of days is 1 and 2 tenths, well, then its growth is 4 and 4 tenths, and so on. Since x can be a fractional part of a day, it's still growing. This data would be graphed as a line. Making the vertical table of values, we have each of our ordered pairs. Every point on this line is a solution that would make the equation true. The rate of change is 2 centimeters per day, but this is not a proportional relationship because the graph doesn't pass through the origin. It doesn't pass through 0, 0. If x was 0, so we had an ordered pair of 0 for x, we'd have 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 2. Our y value would be 2. We can see the y value is 2 when the x value is 0. It didn't go through the origin. In the last video, we also talked about Dave and his cable bill. Dave pays $75 per month for his cable TV bill. He can rent individual movies for $5 each that are added to his cable bill. We can represent this as y, that's the cable bill, is equal to 5 times x, that's the number of movies and $5 each, plus 75. That's the basic cable price, $75. X will not be a negative amount because Dave can't rent a negative amount of movies. X will not be a fraction because Dave can only rent an entire movie, a whole number. The linear relationship will be represented by a set of unconnected points to disclude fractions. Fractions will not be included. We have our equation, y is equal to 5x plus 75. We make a table of values for the number of movies to the total bill. If he rents zero movies, his bill is going to be $75. If he rents one movie, well, then we need to add $5. It's going to be 80 If he rents two movies, now we need to add $10 to the bill. We have our equation, y is equal to 5x plus 75. Since Dave can only rent whole movies... We cannot connect the points. Here's our ordered pairs, 0, 75, 180, 285, 390. 
the rate of change is $5 per movie, this is not a proportional relationship because the graph doesn't pass through the origin. We can't connect this with a line because he can't rent half of a movie. It's only whole numbers. So a line would represent all the fractional amounts of a movie in between the two points. We have to leave it as unconnected points. This 075 immediately shows that this is not a proportional relationship because it shows it's going through 0 for x and 75 for y, not 0, 0. There's some clues that it's not a linear relationship. The ordered pairs do not include 0, 0. It was 0, 075. And the equation has a y-intercept b that is not 0. y is equal to 5x plus 75, which tells us we got to start at 75 even if x is a 0. We're going to have a 0, 075. That's not going through the origin. An equation is the best representation of a linear relationship because it will include all values for x and y, infinite values. A table of values will only include some of the ordered pairs, and a graph will only display solutions as a limited range based on the size of the paper in the grid. This equation will include all the values for x and y, so it's the best representation of a linear relationship. Okay, we're finished with part B and moving on to the last part, representing linear relationships using graphs. Remember, if you missed those videos about proportional relationships, they're linked in this description, so you can quickly watch them and get them out of the way. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope it's wonderful, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.